have your resources. Even if you have $10 in the cloud, you've just started, you have few resources, you think that it's a bit early for tagging, it's not. Think about your tagging strategy early. Think about that quarterly report, that yearly report. Five years from now, how will you want to see your cloud costs? Do you need to know your cloud costs by owner, by business unit, by environment, by customer, any chargeback you will need to do? Tagging will be crucial in order to get that visibility and help with your reporting. Three-year compute savings plans may seem a bit scary, but you can achieve up to 50% savings. So if you think that you're going to be staying on AWS for the next two to three years, there's no reason not to go for it. If you have 50% savings, even if you have 10% under utilization, even 20% under utilization, we're speaking about 40% savings after under utilization. That is much higher than zero. So go for it and don't be afraid. AWS offers private pricing for a variety of services. The most common ones are CloudFront, Data Transfer, and S3. The way that private pricing works is you will need to do a monthly or yearly commitment. Take a look at your usage. Usually, if you have more than 10 terabytes of usage for CloudFront data transfer out, you may be eligible. 500 terabytes for inter-AC data transfer, 500 terabytes for data transfer out, or one petabyte for S3 per month. If you're close to those numbers, slightly under, speak to your AWS account manager, you may be eligible and the reduction will be significant. Your top 10 services make, usually make up 70 to 90% of your cloud costs and we often ignore those small services. The ones that cost a few thousand dollars a month, even a few hundred dollars a month, don't ignore the small services. Take one month or even a few months, take a look at them, go into detail, Many times there are quick wins, quick ways to save money because resources that were forgotten, backups that we no longer need, testing environments are all sitting in those small costs that make up thousands of dollars at the end of the day. Create company awareness early. Even that day that you first create your first cloud environment, Make sure that you assign someone who's responsible, who is going to check the bill at the end of the month, who is going to learn the tips and tricks in order to reduce those costs. Even if we have $100 on the cloud, it's important that we learn early, learn the tips and tricks for controlling the cloud costs. Make sure that business units are aware and learn how to read the bill and read and get full visibility on everything they're spending on.